Okay, I'm going to read this story. It's called, uh, I was thinking about what story to read. I always like to remain in indecision about that uh, so that I can fully experience my Jewish anxiety. Um, I, don't want to, I don't want to cheat myself of that. It's really the central highlight of my life. So, uh, but in, in workshop today, workshop's been great. I've been a real bastard, but they've been very patient. And um, uh, there were just some stories that made me feel like maybe I should read this story, although I've tried to cut it down so it's not so long. It's called Shotgun Wedding. Carrie had never seen Dr. Joel Olafeeder before, but he was the only one available under her medical plan, the old HMO clusterfuck, so here she was at a chintzy little family clinic in the ass end of San Diego. She felt achy and tired as if she might have the flu, the scary kind with the special abbreviation she could never quite remember. The waiting room smelled as if someone had just burned popcorn. It was a Monday morning in spring, sweltering already, and Carrie was going to be late to work, which meant her corporate torture device would soon start buzzing with pleas from the relentless copywriters looking, for her, looking to her for guidance and approval they should have received long ago from their parents. <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier if we accept that occasionally the story is funny. <laughs> It's totally your decision, but I just want to make that an option. <laughs> she turned the device off and picked up a Time magazine from three years ago. Racism was out of control. Civil war was destroying the Congo. Hollywood was auto-cannibalizing. Time made it all seem delightful. The girl at the sign-in called her name and directed Carrie to a patient room. To her surprise, the nurse who appeared was Dolores Fuentes, a high school classmate from two decades ago. She, too, had been one of the fat girls who stood by year after year and watched the others dance. <laughs> you are some cruel people. <laughs> I hope you take that as a compliment. All right. <laughs> 